A stark warning for America. China's deep seek has outsmarted Silicon Valley, shaking Wall Street and redefining AI development. Silicon Valley is raving about a made in China AI model, screams the Wall Street Journal. And for good reason, because using resourceful techniques and exploiting US export loopholes, the startup built groundbreaking AI models with minimal resources, leaving America's tech giants scrambling. Deep seek didn't just compete, they also innovated by reducing data demands and also using specialized AI systems. They made technology cheaper and also faster. Meanwhile, Washington's sluggish policies gave them a crucial edge, particularly when it came to finding a loophole, allowing access to these powerful NVIDIA chips before the rules were tightened. Veronica, Wall Street has been in an absolute panic. NVIDIA's share dropped by a record in one day trading. It's all started to come back. NVIDIA does still seem to be a winner because after all, DeepSeek is using 2000 of these Chinese chips, but a lot of focus on the Biden administration who brought in rules for companies like NVIDIA to try and protect AI in the US. But there was a loophole that meant that NVIDIA could actually sell 2000 of these substandard chips that could still be used for AI development. So there's so much to unpack here with this story, of course, uh, really sent those shockwaves, as you mentioned, across the tech se sector and even Wall Street. So what's really interesting is wanting to know more information about this company and how uh, they are doing their business. Are these NVIDIA chips that are older models? There's still a lot of questions, more so than really information or answers that we are, are getting, you know, just hearing that this is maybe the AI Sputnik moment. Um, you know, we, we know that there is that arms race to harness the power potential of AI. You know, we know that's going to be at the forefront of warfare. We saw, of course, within the first couple of hours of the incoming uh, Trump advance administration that President Trump put together Stargate, you know, which is that $500 billion project to try to do the data centers here in the United States. So we are seeing this being taken very seriously now in Washington, D.C. Uh, is it too late? I don't think so. But it is curious as to why the Biden-Harris administration were really dragging their feet on this when we kept hearing how this is such an important uh, sector to look at. Yeah, well, let's hear Donald Trump, who spoke about this while he was speaking to congressional leaders. Today and over the last couple of days, I've been reading about uh, China and some of the companies in China, one in particular, coming up with a faster method of AI and much less expensive method. And that's good, because you don't have to spend this much money. I view that as a positive, as an asset. So uh, I really think if it's, if it's fact and if it's true, and nobody really knows if it is, but I view that as a positive because you'll be doing that too. So you won't be spending as much and you'll get the same result, hopefully. He's ever the businessman, isn't he, focusing on the cost of things. And obviously the whole history of Silicon Valley in the tech sector is someone does something and someone comes along and does it cheaper. Think what SpaceX has done to NASA when they were launching rockets. You know, SpaceX has come around and said, there's a more efficient way of operating here. The trouble for the US is, is that it isn't a US company that is doing this, it's a Chinese company. The question then says about NVIDIA, they've got these massively expensive chips that they've been working on, which is one of the reasons why their, their stock price has been growing. But they still would be able to sell this secondary chip, the one the Chinese are using for DeepSeek, to other US and global companies, right? So essentially it becomes a two-tier system that could then bring down the cost. It certainly could. Uh, you know, it is something that Deep Seek has been around for about a year, and we saw it really gain momentum last week when it was released. But this does bring up the question again as to the CCP and having this on your phone, this, the same data concerns. But also, when the technology is already out there and it is uh, invented, and we, we look at this with this intellectual property issue that continues on that debate, you know, building upon that, you know, initial. Uh, idea, you know, is one thing. So, I mean, when you look at what they're doing, it, it, it is fascinating. I did talk to some investors. They really are questioning the dollar amount that the company is is saying that they were able to use this. So, really fascinating. And I, and I think that a lot of people want to know 
a lot more uh, yeah. about this Well, company. just on that, it's interesting you, you, you mentioned investors. I mean, did they give any understanding as to how they're feeling at the moment? Because the past year, so much money has been poured into not just NVIDIA, but any company that uses AI. I mean, we have a running joke here at Ticker in the newsroom that um, any company that we speak to generally tries to find a way to put AI into a product these days. And we cover it so much in the news, right? Um, and it's because that's a way to get investors. The tech sector dropped off in 2022 after COVID. Uh, and many companies, entrepreneurs were trying to find a way to get that money back from investors who started to sour on tech because it wasn't giving the returns. Is this now happening to AI where we're unlikely to see the returns from all that money that's been poured in over the past year? So really hard to predict the future. You know, when I talked to them, they were just simply saying that that five to six, you know, million dollar uh, amount that they were given, they were extremely skeptical about it. But then when you also look at, you know, the intelligence of it, if you ask it a question about Tiananmen Square, it says that it's, you know, not able to answer that. So that's mm -hmm. where we see the politics now enter in. So if you are trying to market some type of, you know, new app, and of course this now is related to AI, and this is what everybody is very interested in, but you can see the drawbacks here uh, in terms of that it's extremely political. Yeah, I mean, but look, all tech companies are. Google's changing the name of the Gulf of Mexico to Google uh, to, to Gulf of America because that's what the president has asked for. Uh, we have seen Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg changing the way that they operate at their tech companies because that is in favor with the administration. I mean, politics and tech companies are the same as politics and media companies of yesteryear. I mean, John Acosta uh, leaving CNN because he doesn't get, you know, he was Trump's least favorite reporter. You would say that on all sides, politics and media media and business and tech, everyone wants to keep the administration that they answer to happy, whether it be a Chinese company or an American company, right? Definitely depends. You know, in the United States, there is the uh, free speech. Uh, we don't have golden shares. That's something I would love to look more into that's happening in the CCP, this talk about having a golden share in some of these com companies that ultimately does go back to Xi Jinping. So that is something, too, that a lot of journalists are trying to find out. Businessmen and women in Wall Street just heard about this, and they're absolutely shocked. Mm. So that's something to definitely keep an eye on.